This is going to be a small introduction to the CISPRO desktop and the ability to define a menu system for a, a particular operator. As we log into the system, we can see uh, different areas of information. Over to the left, we can see panels that are hidden as well as to the right, each containing information specific to this particular user, in this case defined as the account manager. If I click on my main menu, we can see the list of modules that are available to the user, and this is one representation of how a user can access information. You may see how familiar it is in respect to Microsoft Outlook, and so if you're familiar and happy working through the system this way, you can, but we can also access the system using a separate menu system. Once I pin my menu, we can see how it dis displayed on the, the screen, but I could also review this as a subset of data clicking on a favorites menu. As you can see here, I've limited information in respect to programs that this user would use on a day-to-day -day basis. If I pin this here, as you can see, it's now displayed not only the main menu, but as well as the favorites menu to the screen. Now I'm going to direct you over to the right to be able to access our calendar. By clicking on that, we can see a calendar for the week. And this calendar integrates directly to Microsoft Outlook. So if you've defined appointments within Outlook, you'll be able to see that information within your CISPRO calendar, as well as if you define appointments within the CISPRO calendar, that information will be displayed in Outlook. And to show you a representation of that, we'll pin this to our screen, and you can see here, I actually have appointments that have been defined within Outlook. The benefit of that is being able to access all your programs within a day-to-day -day basis within CISPRO. CISPRO also gives you the ability to access the internet. And as you can see here, I have a browser tab set up. And if I click there, I have a default page to find for this browser. In this case, this user uh, has interest in the fluctuations in metal prices. As you can see, that is their default homepage. Now, information is important to everyone. And CISPRO then also gives you the ability to have real-time dashboards about key information on the life of the business. So I'm going to show you that by hiding my calendar. And I'm going to point you to our executive views. And the first view we're going to see is an example of the variance between expected costs and actual costs within production. The next view I'm going to show you is an inv inventory value program that shows you the value of inventory that you have across different warehouses. In this case, our finished goods, northern warehouse, raw materials, and the subassembly warehouse, as well as we can see the corresponding information in respect to the totals down at the bottom that represent each graph. Very easy, very simple to define. And the next graph is a different representation of data. In this case, representing data in a list view. So you have an option to have graphs represent data or in this case, a list view. Now one thing to mention, these dashboards are real time to CISPRO. So as data becomes posted within the system, that information will then appear to your dashboard. So for example, if you were to capture a sale, in this case here, sales, sales orders taken, you'll be able to see the value of the order populate and update these screens real time. Now another example of a dashboard is a dynamic dashboard that you can work with real time. In this case, we're looking at a financial income statement and we're looking at it for the year 2009. Now this report acts uh, dynamically. So if I decide to make changes to the numbers and do some hypothetical manipulation of data. So for example, if our net sales increase by 23% in the year 2009, we can see the impact that would have on our net sales, cost of sales, gross profit, other revenues and expenses and non-profits. Uh, also, if I were to increase our cost of sales along with our net sales by 21%, as you can see, it had an impact on the different metrics within the company. Again, real-time dynamic tool that allows you to manipulate the information and again, play with the numbers within your company. And lastly, in respect to these dashboards, they are built into the CISPRO system, come with the application so that you can define key performance uh, metrics uh, for any user within your company. Now, this is another example of how to set up your menu and I can quickly exit out of these screens and take me right back to where we started.